What's so important about those goggles? Well, I paid a big deposit on them, for one thing. They're the only way to get into Reality 2.0. I bet well, Max's I annual so. salary, they're the only way to get to the bottom of this computer crisis. Where did you get those goggles? From my new employers, of course. The cops. Cops. Cops? Cops. We're all the police this neighborhood needs. And then some. No, not police. Cops. It's an acronym for Society of something or other. I can never remember. Anyway, they're over at Lefty's old place. See you around, Sybil. Look for me in the unemployment line. They plan to skip. Next item on the agenda. If you'd like to talk about the big sale and raffle, press one now. If you know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press 2 now. I hunger! The refreshments will be served after the meeting. I think we stumbled into the warehouse where Steve Wozniak makes erotic movies. Proximity alert! Hello, and welcome to the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. State your business. What's the big idea, hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your hinky goggles? Sybil, P-A-N-D-E-M-I-K, inductee 48,726-5. She's enjoying reality, oh. 2.0, rated E for everyone. Everyone, all will fall, there is no escape. If you'd like to join the internet and experience reality 2.0 for yourself, press or say yes now. Internet? What does the internet have to do with your little virtual reality game? The internet controls everything. The internet dreams of a world beyond this one. A world of games. A world of commerce. A world with neither boundaries nor exits. Now, using the combined computing power of an entire planet, that dream is becoming a reality. Reality 2.0. It's totally awesome! Wait, the internet? Huh? It makes sense. Only an entity with access to universal knowledge could cause computerized chaos on a global scale. It's not what you know, it's who you know. The internet knows everyone. Of me. By making ah, use wait. of its multiple networks of personal contact with other machines, the internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate Reality 2.0. Fine, but where does the hypnosis come in? Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone, all will fall. There is no escape. Of course, this isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is. Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave, well, everyone. No. Great. Then it's simple. All we have to do is destroy the internet, and no. all our problems are solved. The networking web. Where can we find this internet? You will fail. The internet is everywhere. Oh my. And nowhere. Divide by zero error. All computers on the planet are now working to create Reality 2.0. The only access to the internet is through Reality 2.0. Check on life. We'd like to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your goggles explode! Game over! Likelihood of broken rear slot downstream signal from your staff regurgitator, 99.6%. Distance replacement chip. Stop complaining and just do it. Enjoy your new signal from a staff regurgitator chip and experience all that reality 2.0 but I want to play, too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. The whole family can enjoy Reality 2.0. Take our complimentary goggles designed for special needs children so that the little ones can play along. <laughs> Goodbye. You cannot escape! You'll have to excuse him. He has a hard time saying goodbye. Oh, 
Run. <laughs> Let's visit the internet. Aha. The chip snapped right in. No soldering required. Aw, you know how I like to burn things. Cheer up and put on your orc kicking boots, little buddy. We're gonna have to play this game to get to the bottom of the world's internet crisis. It's a good thing your protective hat and my non-compatible brain render us both impervious to hypnotism. And it's a good thing you've been taking those classes in subtle exposition, pal. Now let's go. Entering to internet. Hey, neat. I had a dream like this once. You sold me a defective walrus and then vanished in a puff of orange smoke. <laughs> Welcome to Reality 2.0, the perfect place of perfect happiness. I'm your host, the Internet. Oh I didn't think the Internet had a face. Right. Reality 2.0 is a lot like Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. Huh. Reality 2.0 simulates your world and links it to cyberspace while providing a clever fusion of popular gameplay styles guaranteed to amuse the statistically average person. It's everything for everyone. Then why do you need to hypnotize people with the goggles? We are confident that you will be perfectly happy here and will never want to leave. Ever. These goggle thingies are pinching my head. Please be advised that this is a beta version of Reality 2.0, so some features and locations may be incomplete at this time. It figures. Reality 1.0 has the same problem. Yeah. Enjoy your new reality. Hey, wait. Internet? Hello? No. Nice. Kiki! <laughs> Look! Sybil's creepy fox is here! It's like the twisted collaborative brainchild of Timothy Leary and Lewis Carroll. Reality 2.0 emulates the design sensibilities of unavailable authors programmatically by applying heuristic statistical methods to samples of text. Sounds like hokum to me. Let's go. and Reality 2.0 are tailored to the buying habits of the individual user. Cod swallow. I heard that. Wait. Hi, buddy. 
we brought you a housewarming gift. Permission denied. Overruled. With maintenance routine compromised. What is that? Look, Sam, we're two-dimensional. This feels oddly familiar. Holy crap. That's hilarious, bro.